Have you ever had an ex who refused to let go? Someone who made your life a living hell even after you broke up? If so, you're not alone. There are countless stories of crazy exes who have gone to extreme lengths to get their ex back, or to punish them for leaving. In this video, I'll share some of the most terrifying true stories of crazy exes. These stories are sure to make you shiver, and they'll remind you that sometimes the real world can be even more terrifying than fiction. Let's dive straight into the video. I dated Ken for two years. It was a toxic relationship. He was abusive and controlling. I was scared to leave him, but I knew I had to. One day, I finally broke up with him over text. He was furious. He called me and texted me over and over again. He threatened me. I was terrified. That night, I woke up in the middle of the night to a noise. I sat up in bed and listened. I heard it again. It was a soft, scratching sound coming from the window. I got out of bed and slowly walked over to the window. I pulled back the curtain and looked outside. There was nothing there. I went back to bed, but I couldn't sleep. I was too scared. I kept thinking about Ken. I knew he was out there somewhere, and I knew he was coming for me. The next morning, I woke up and went downstairs. I turned on the TV to try to distract myself, but I couldn't focus. I kept thinking about Ken. I got up and went to the kitchen to make a cup of coffee. As I was pouring the water into the coffee, I heard a noise behind me. I turned around and saw Kian standing in the doorway. He was smiling. Hello, Sarah, he said. I was frozen with fear. I couldn't move. I'm so glad you're home, he said. I've missed you so much. He took a step towards me. I backed away. Don't be afraid, he said. I'm not going to hurt you. He took another step towards me. I backed away again. I told you I would be back, he said. And now I am. He lunged at me. I screamed and tried to run, but he was too fast. He caught me and threw me to the ground. He got on top of me and pinned me down. I struggled to break free, but he was too strong. He said, I'm going to make you suffer. He reached into his pocket and pulled out a knife. He held the knife to my throat. I'm going to kill you, he said, and then I'm going to kill everyone you love. I closed my eyes and waited to die. But then I heard a noise. It was the sound of the bully's siren. Kian got up and ran. The bullies chased him out the door. I lay on the ground gasping for breath. I was alive. The police came in and helped me to my feet. They took me to the hospital to be checked out. I was physically unharmed, but I was traumatized. I had nightmares about Kian for weeks. I knew that he was out there somewhere, and I knew that he would be back. But I also knew that I couldn't live my life in fear. I moved to a new city and started a new life. I got a new job and made new friends. I'm still scared of Ken, but I'm not going to let him control my life. I'm going to live my life to the fullest and I'm never going to let him hurt me again. I live in a ranch style house with my husband. My father lives in a nursing home, but he had to come and live with us temporarily because the nursing home had a fire. One night, my husband went out with his friends and I was home alone with my father. I put my father to bed and then went to watch TV. Later that night, I was awakened by the sound of footsteps in the hallway. I got up to check on it, and I saw my father walking back to his room from the bathroom. But I knew that my father was in the bathroom the whole time. I had seen him go in there earlier, and I hadn't heard him come out. I was scared, but I went back to bed. I tried to tell myself that it was just my imagination, but I couldn't shake the feeling that something was wrong. A few minutes later, my husband came home. He told me that he had seen the front door was wide open when he drove up. I was shocked. I remembered locking the door before my husband went out. My husband and I searched the house, but we couldn't find anyone. We called the police, but the police couldn't find anyone either. My husband and I were very scared. We didn't know what had happened, but we knew that something was wrong. We decided to put in a home security system just in case. A few weeks later, my ex-husband was arrested. He had broken into the house and was hiding in the basement. He was the one who had left the front door open. My ex-husband is a very abusive man. He had threatened to kill me and my husband in the past. I was relieved that he was finally caught, but I was still scared. I knew that he would be out of jail someday. My husband and I decided to move to a new house. We wanted to get away from the bad memories of our old house. We also wanted to be in a safer neighborhood. 
We moved into our new house a few months ago. It's a small but cozy house. It's in a quiet neighborhood and we feel safe here. But I still can't shake the feeling that something is wrong. I often have nightmares about my ex-husband. I dream that he's following me or that he's trying to break into my house. One night, I woke up from a nightmare. I was sweating and my heart was racing. I got out of bed and went to the kitchen to get a glass of water. As I was walking through the living room, I saw a shadow move out of the corner of my eye. I turned around, but there was nothing there. I told myself that it was just my imagination, but I couldn't shake the feeling that someone was watching me. I went back to bed and tried to fall asleep, but I couldn't. I kept thinking about the shadow I had seen. A few hours later, I heard a noise downstairs. I got up and went to investigate. I walked down the stairs slowly and quietly. I didn't want to wake my husband. When I reached the bottom of the stairs, I saw a light coming from the kitchen. I crept closer to the kitchen door and peeked inside. I saw my ex-husband sitting at the kitchen table. He was eating a bowl of cereals. I was terrified. I couldn't believe that he was in my house. I turned and ran back to bed. I woke up my husband and told him what I had seen. My husband didn't believe me at first. He thought I was dreaming. But then, he heard a noise downstairs. He went to investigate and he found my ex-husband sitting at the kitchen table. My husband called the police and they arrested my ex-husband. My ex-husband was charged with breaking and entering. He was also charged with a violation of restraining order. He is now in jail and he's not eligible for parole for five years. I'm relieved that my ex-husband is in jail, but I'm still scared. I know that he'll be out of jail someday, and I'm afraid that he'll come back to me. I'm trying to move on with my life, but it's hard. I have nightmares every night. I'm always looking over my shoulder. I don't know what the future holds, but I'm trying to stay positive. I'm trying to focus on the good things in my life. I'm grateful for my husband. He's been so supportive through all of this. I'm also grateful for my new home. I was only 15 years old when I met him. He was a senior in high school and he had just joined my small circle of friends. He was charming and handsome, and he quickly became part of our group. But there was something off about him. He was always watching me, and he would often make inappropriate comments. I tried to ignore him, but he was relentless. One day, he told me that he loved me and that he wanted to be with me. I told him that I wasn't interested, but he wouldn't take no for an answer. He started following me around everywhere I went. He would call me all the time and text me constantly. I started to feel scared and uncomfortable. I told my friends and family what was happening, but they didn't believe me. They said that he was just a nice guy who was interested in me. One day, he cornered me in the hallway at school. He told me that if I didn't go out with him, he would tell everyone that I was a slut. I was terrified, so I agreed to go out with him. We went to a movie, and he tried to hug me. I told him no, but he didn't listen. He forced himself and I started to cry. He finally stopped, but he was angry. He told me that I was a tease and that I was asking for it. I broke him with him after that, but he wouldn't leave me alone. He started stalking me. He would follow me home from school and he would hide in the bushes outside my house. He would call me and text me threatening messages. I was so scared, I didn't know what to do. I told my parents and they called the police, but there wasn't anything they could do. He hadn't done anything illegal yet. One night, he broke into my house. I was sleeping in my bed when he woke me up. He had a knife in his hand. He told me that he was going to kill me if I didn't go with him. I was terrified. I didn't know what to do. I agreed to go with him, but I knew I had to find a way to escape. We got into his car and he drove to a deserted area. He told me to get out of the car. I did, and then I started running. He chased me, but I was faster. I ran until I couldn't run anymore. I collapsed on the ground exhausted and terrified. I thought that he was going to kill me, but he didn't. He just stood over me and laughed. He told me that he was going to let me go, but that he would be back. He said that he would never stop stalking me. I ran back to my house and called the police. They came and took a report, but they couldn't do anything. He still hadn't done anything illegal. I was so scared, I didn't know what to do. I was trapped. My parents decided to move. We moved to a new city, and we didn't tell anyone where we were going. I thought I was finally safe. But a few years later, I found out that he had found me again. He had started dating one of my friends. He was doing the same things to her that he had done to me. I told my friend what was happening, but she didn't believe me. She said that he was just a nice guy and that I was trying to be jealous. 
I tried to warn her, but it was no use. She didn't listen to me. A few months later, she broke up with her. He told her that she was a waste of his time. She was devastated. She called me and told me what had happened. She said that she finally realized that I was right about him. She said that he was a monster. I'm so glad that my friend got away with him. I'm also glad that he's finally out of my life. But I'm still scared. I know that he's out there somewhere. And I know that he could come back at any time. These stories can be both terrifying and fascinating. They remind us that there are people out there who are capable of great evil. And that we should always be careful who we trust. If you have a true crazy ex-horror story of your own, please share it in the comments below. Your story could help to warn others about the dangers of crazy exes, and it could also help to provide support to other people who have been through similar experiences. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe for more true scary stories, and please share this video with your friends and family.